Have you ever spilled wine on your clothes and worried that they'd be ruined forever? Well, worry no more, as in this video, we'll show you how to remove even the toughest of wine stains. And if you're in the middle of a stain emergency, jump to this timestamp to go right to our stain removal tips. First up today, very briefly, let's explain just why wine stains are so stubborn with the help of our very own Professor Preston. During the maceration phase of wine fermentation, grape skins transfer their color into the naturally clear juice. Red skins make the juices red, creating red wine. White wines are either made from grapes with light skins, or, as in the case of champagne, the skins are removed after pressing the juices. And partial soaking, as you might have guessed, creates rosé. The red in wine consists primarily of anthocyanin, which, interestingly enough, is water-soluble, meaning that it washes out fairly easily. The staining, meanwhile, is caused by another ingredient in wines, tannins. Tannins are biomolecules that impart a unique flavor profile into wine. But because they bond to other molecules, they also stick the colored pigments in wine into your fabrics. The stain-busting solutions we're discussing today target tannins, so they should remove stains caused by all wine types. And they should also remove stains caused by similar beverages, including brandies like cognac or armagnac and grappa. On that note, let us know in the comments below which other beverage types you'd like to see earn an installment in this stain series. You might assume that if a wine is clear, it won't stain. But while the stain won't be as immediately noticeable, it will still be there. So you'll need to clean it to prevent it from attracting grime or reacting negatively with your clothing. With the science out of the way then, I'll hand things back to regular Preston. He should pay attention to the rest of the video. I think I saw a stain on his coat from the faculty wine and cheese mixer. Next up then, let's cover how to pre-treat a wine stain. Unfortunately, you're most likely to suffer a wine stain during moments like a reception or a party when you can't simply drop everything and run to the laundry room. Taking a few discreet steps in the moment, however, will make the eventual full cleanup much easier without ruining the party. If you notice a wine stain, excuse yourself and go to the restroom or at least somewhere private. If the stain is on one of your principal garments, like a shirt, start by blotting at the stain with dry paper towel to get out the excess wine. Don't rub, however, as this might have the potential to set the stain further. This might be all you're able to do in the moment, but if you're able to remove the garment, then run tepid or cold water through it from the backside in order to flush the stain out. And if the stain is prominent, consider using club soda, or ironically enough, white wine, in order to flush the stain out further. This is because the minerals in the club soda and the pigments in the white wine can help to dilute the red color and make it less noticeable. Then dry the garment as much as possible, again by gently blotting, and return to your party. Meanwhile, if the stain is on an accessory, like neckwear or a pocket square, start by asking your host for some table salt, or better yet, kosher salt or sea salt. Or get it yourself if you're at home. Layer the salt on the stain to draw out the wine and its tannins. The salt should be turning pink. Check on the stain every hour or so, replacing the salt as necessary, and when the salt stops turning pink, repeat the steps that we've already mentioned. And if you happen to have a spare shirt handy, say if you're at home or you've got a spare shirt in the car, you can also use the salt technique on a shirt. Remember though to avoid the temptation to scrub at the stain, as you might spread it, and be wary of what you use to clean it with. Using bar soap, for instance, could actually make the stain worse. This is because the fatty soap molecules will absorb the wine pigments and then attach them to the fibers of your clothing. 
At this point though, you've basically done all that you can do without abandoning the party, so enjoy yourself, forget about the stain, and try not to stain anything else. Once your party is over, though, you can focus on finishing the job, so let's next talk about how to remove wine stains. The following steps are for washable fabrics or minor stains that can be spot cleaned. Meanwhile, for serious wine stains on delicate, specialty, or dry clean only fabrics, you can jump to this timestamp. And as always, if you're concerned about any cleaning process ruining a garment that you have, start by testing an area of the garment that isn't normally visible. First, layer baking soda over the stain to see if it draws out any wine. If it does turn pink, keep repeating this process until the baking soda stops turning pink. Then find a cleanser. Most laundry detergent is designed to target organic stains, including tannins. So apply a drop or dusting of detergent to the stain to cover it completely, then activate it using the hottest water that is safe for the garment, checking the tag for care instructions. Then, with a soft brush or a sponge, gently dab the treatment into the fabric. Continue dabbing. No, not like that. Continue dabbing until the stain begins to disappear or liquefy. If appropriate, you can also soak the garment in a cleaning solution for several hours. Rinse with cold water, then dab dry with paper towels or a clean cloth or towel. Repeat this process until you've successfully removed the stain, then you can put the garment in the washing machine as normal. But don't put it in the dryer until you're sure that the stain is gone, as the heat from the dryer can set the stain. If the stain persists, consider using a stain targeting detergent like the Laundress Stain Solution, Presto Bio-Based, Arm & Hammer Plus OxyClean, or Dirty Labs Detergent. Or you can use a product specifically formulated for wine stains like Chateau Spill Wine Remover or Gonzo Wine Out. And as always, these products are merely suggestions. This video is 100% not sponsored. Use all of these products according to their labeled instructions and make sure to take note of warnings about appropriate fabric types. If your regular clothing detergent doesn't seem to be cutting it and you don't have any specialty products on hand, then you can replicate their stain fighting power using this household solution. It probably won't be as effective as a dedicated stain remover, but it should help. Combine one tablespoon of white vinegar, one tablespoon of dish soap, and two cups of water. And if the stained fabric in question is white, you can substitute the vinegar with half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. This will function somewhat like bleach, however, so it should be used carefully and not with any colored fabrics. Apply this solution using the same steps as for the detergents we mentioned above, and if the stain still persists, then you can jump to this timestamp for our tips about removing old wine stains. Next up though, let's cover stain removal for delicate and specialty fabrics. First up, for knitwear, create a solution of cool water and a mild detergent, apply it to the stain, and let it sit for a few minutes. Next, soak the entire garment in a solution of tepid water and woolite or a comparable detergent. Finally, hand wash the entire garment and then let it air dry. For more care tips of this type, you can consult our full guide to wool sweater maintenance. Next, for silks and comparable delicate fabrics, apply baby powder or talcum powder to the stain and replace it as needed as you did with the salt. Then fully clear away the powder and hand wash the garment with a detergent formulated for delicates like Studio by Tide, the Laundress Delicate Wash, or Heritage Park detergent. Then allow the garment to air dry and repeat this process as needed. For leather and suede, you can follow essentially the same process as for silks and delicates, replacing the detergent, however, with a dedicated leather or suede cleaner. Of course, follow the listed instructions on your product of choice. 
Finally here, any garment that is labeled dry clean only should go to the dry cleaners, but if you'd like to be a bit more adventurous and try it yourself, you can find our guide to washing suits at home here. Next up, let's cover our suggestions for removing old wine stains. If you get to a wine stain before it dries completely, usually within the first 24 hours or so, then you should have good luck getting it out. But if you've found an old stain, or are dealing with one that is persisting, then follow these tips. First, cover the stain with a cleaner that is appropriate to the fabric type, then submerge the garment in question in cold water. If the fabric is spot clean only meanwhile, then you can simply soak the affected area with cold water. Submerge or soak for at least 30 minutes, but ideally you should leave the garment this way overnight to let the soaking take even more effect. Essentially, this process is intended to reactivate the stain so that it can be more easily removed from the fabric. Next, apply a dedicated or wine-targeting stain remover, following both its instructions and those on the tags of your garment. Then, wash the garment as usual, keeping in mind that you may need to repeat this process several times. If this is the case, it's a good idea to take a picture of the stain after each washing so that you can tell whether you're making progress or not. Finally, if your stain refuses to budge, it's probably time to call in professional help. And that's why I fight for you, Albuquerque! Better call Saul. So, if you determine that you can't get the stain out yourself, you should try to get your garment to the dry cleaners as soon as possible so that the stain has less of an opportunity to set further. They may be strong, the stains from wine and rosé, but if you're earnest, you can get out even the toughest stains. And let us know in the comments if you got our little literary reference there. And also let us know in the comments if there are any wine washing or tannin targeting tips we might have missed in today's video. I know that as I'm doing today's outfit rundown, I'll be on the lookout for stains I might have missed. In today's video, I'm wearing a casual outfit, good for doing some garment care around the house, and also appropriate for the relatively warm early December we're currently experiencing at the time of this video's filming. The central element, of course, is my cardigan sweater from Charles Tirrett, appropriately enough in a burgundy color they call wine. I'm wearing it over a French cuffed shirt, also from Charles Tirrett, featuring a magenta and blue checked pattern over a white ground. The shirt has French cuffs, but I'm wearing them configured in a barrel style today with simple black links to fit more easily under the sweater sleeves. My trousers are plain navy blue to harmonize with one of the accent colors in the shirt, and in the outdoor footage you're seeing, I'm also wearing one of my flat caps, this one from the Polish brand Puszetka. It features a houndstooth pattern in blue and off-white tones. To continue the casual feel of today's outfit, I've also left product out of my hair and let my beard grow further. Let me know in the comments if you like this look on me. My shoes are dark oxblood penny loafers from Allen Edmonds, also in a similar wine sort of color, and my socks are two-tone solids from Fort Belvedere in burgundy and white. Finally, for my fragrance today, I've gone for Quattro Rosso, or Four Rosso, from the Roberto Ugolini collection. It has a warm yet floral character that's good for this time of year, and of course the red tones of the bottle harmonize with my outfit. So, for the socks I'm wearing in today's video, as well as fragrances from the Roberto Ugolini collection and a wide array of other classic men's accessories, you can take a look at the Fort Belvedere shop here. <laughs> Thank you.